Kahaya boat just went past us so fast and they crashed into us from this side of the water Smash. and like things fell off the shelves and it was such a nice wake up. <laughs> On the way here, we drove past a spa that's like a canal side spa. It's called the Line Quays Resort. And we looked at it and we was like, oh my God, that looks amazing. And we can't get it out of our heads. So we're thinking about going to the <laughs> spa. <laughs> really spontaneous, but it wouldn't be us if it wasn't. For, the, like, for a spa day, just use of like the swimming pool, the sauna, it's about 39 pounds, so which isn't too bad. And we haven't been in a swimming pool in ages. We haven't been relaxed in ages. Yeah, I could really do with one. Maybe a treatment or two, I don't know. I'd be happy with just a decent shower and a swimming pool. <laughs> yeah. Oh, we'll keep you posted. Walking into a little nearby town. We've booked our, our spa day. <laughs> The next weekend because it's bank holiday weekend not that we noticed that but it is so that's good oh, what's happening with this so yeah me and the pineapple are just heading in <laughs> <laughs> found a shop that does fireplaces and stuff like that we still need a new chimney ideally before it gets cold but i think they've only got housey ones rather than boaty ones rufus is allowed in there and he's enjoying exploring out of all the places to have a sainsbury's in dobby's garden center is one so we're going to do our food shop here unexpectedly found a garden center that amy's always wanted to visit when she had loads of house plants. <laughs> I had over 200 house plants, and this is what it looked like. Oh. Mm. Wow. We've just had our hardest slam so far. It was a, a higher boat. <laughs> Bless him, the guy just lost control because I think he got distracted. Slammed straight into the side of us, like at a pretty fast speed. I was just sat watching TV on the sofa and I just saw the front of a boat coming sideways at us. Like it was literally like that. So we've just put some extra river fenders on. Because <laughs> it's, it's not that narrow here, but I think a lot of the hires struggle for some reason, so just giving us a little bit of extra cushioning. Come on then, Wes, are you ready? <laughs> I'm 
got my walking gear on. Come on. <laughs> you can't wear that. Buzz has got changed. It's definitely better. Still pajamas. <laughs> the styling. It's Saturday and we've been able to have a lion until about 10.30 and these two cuddle bums still don't want to get up. Mm. Oh, baby. Rufus doesn't look very comfy but he is. <laughs> had a pretty cosy morning, had a bit of lunch and now we're just wandering into Chirk just to see if they've got any sort of little local business shops uh, maybe to get something for dinner tonight and then we're going to go home and watch a film, get cosy, have some hot chocolate and just relax today. Because it's super rainy and on rainy days it calls for coziness. Yes. <laughs> Getting the ingredients to make a lentil cottage pie for dinner. I stumbled across these which normally costs loads in other shops we've seen, literally like six quid per tin, and then normal prices here. So we've gone off the rails. We made it back from town. Um, we got some food, got some supplies, got some stuff for dinner, but we finally found a little battery powered lamp for our shelf. Um, Cause we don't like having the big lights on all night um but it's a bit too dark without them so we've got a thing it's from a really cute small business in chirk called fine things they had so many nice little bits and bobs and it was a really really nice shop we're relaxing play a bit of dominoes okay I win! <laughs> Excuse me! <laughs> Our lamp looks so cosy and cute. It's a bit darker now, and it's got a nice warm glow in the corner. So we're just cruising to try and empty the cassettes for the week, so we've got to go back to Chirk Marina. And while Amy's driving, <laughs> I'm just trying to scrape off the old owners' names, because we always get asked about whether they're our names, and it's always just a bit awkward, so. Yeah. Just slowly taking them off on the move.
Lynette asked about my seeds, so I thought I'd give a quick update. We have loads of lettuce growing, spring onions, tomatoes, and green beans, so it's going really well. Back at the boat now, settled for the evening. We're gonna have some leftover cottage pie for dinner. And yeah, maybe watch a movie and just relax in a lovely mooring spot. When we moored up here, we were pretty sure that the, the sun was on that side. So we're slightly un under some tree coverage, but we thought it'd be fine because it's over there. It's been quite overcast and today's the first sort of sunny day. The sun is in the trees and right next to the solar panels, but not on them. Yee! Right, come and lift it. Amy's dropped uh, one of the screws that we need for the solar panels under the solar panel box. Um, but we've also discovered that a monster lives under there. It's a spider that we won't show you. But it's, it is about the size of a, a human child. <laughs> it's like that big. It's big. I'm not scared of spiders, but he's a scary one. It's huge. And I'm just saying just leave it, because it's still very secure. <laughs> but Wes says no. We're not leaving it. Well, can, can, I can't go near it, but also I can't leave it. So this might be a you job. After about two months of this fridge not working and just kind of being sat there, we have decided to put it on Facebook Marketplace because we're right near a road that somebody um, can come and collect. So today's the day it's going. Finally, though, I'm very glad because it's just bad memories, this fridge. He's out. <gasps> what are you doing? Just come and hold the bottom of it. Quick! Where's? I'm busy watching Just... the red. Please, come on. Get the bottom of it. I don't know anything about football. Just... Hold the bottom. Right, you got it? So the fridge is out. Someone's coming to collect it today. I've given it a little bit of a hoover up down there the best I can. And then now this is going to be our temporary fridge area. We're not going to put any food here, probably just sealed up things for now. But we're going to put bits and bobs in there, condiments in there, until we can get our 12 volt fridge. Someone was trying to moor their boat. <laughs> <laughs> they hopped up a bit early and it's just drifted out, the engine's still on. We just heard the dog barking and the dog was just floating away on its own. <laughs> so another boat's having to rescue them. The ducks are all kicking out. We've just finished editing this week's video. I cut it a bit close. So that's done now, it's uploaded, and now we're racing to nearby pub car park because someone's coming to get these two old monitors, which we've just had lying around. We can't do anything with them, so we're just giving them away for cheap. So yeah, it'll be good to get a bit of space back. And then we need to try and get the fridge gone today, ideally as well, before we move away from Chirk. Busy. So we've seen some really good bits of wood for like fallen down logs for firewood in the winter and uh, we've been wanting to st start a log store for ages. So while we're in this woodland bit and any fallen logs, I'm just going to like cut them, take them back to the boat and start a wood store. <laughs> so these are the bits we've seen. And there's this big old bit, and then these bits. So we thought that would be quite a good bit. That would be a good bit. Maybe that one? It feels wrong. Keep us warm for a couple of hours. 20 minutes. <laughs> Just the dad and his son, hard at work. 
Oh yes, doing such a good job. Put this in a hat, Rufus. The start of our winter log store. <laughs> Is <laughs> that very much, is it? Getting some slightly weird looks from the pub. No idea why. Your standard run of the mill evening fridge walk. Just boot things, hanging out near fridge, <laughs> near main road. <laughs> The fridge is gone and um, a lovely guy came all the way from Liverpool to come pick it up so he's just picked it up from the pub car park and we're just gonna go get some bits for dinner and maybe some snacks and then maybe watch a film tonight so yeah I always end bits like that so yeah so yeah so yeah, <laughs> yeah. so yeah you're a terrible person I'm leaving that in We've just picked up Chinese takeaway from Wales and we're walking back to England with it. Uh, it's probably the last trip across the Chirk Aqueduct for some time as we'll be moving on a little bit tomorrow. Another bit of firewood on the way back. We're gonna look really crazy walking past the pub again. This morning it was the fridge, now it's half a tree. How are the chips doing, Amy? All right. Well, be quick though, in case they go cold. We should try and drop it tomorrow. Oh, made it back. That was exhausting. We might have slightly over-ordered on the portions. That's one portion of chips, and we ordered two. We'll go a bit big, <laughs> and we've got this. There goes our healthiness. give a super special shout out to the reception group at Orchard Primary School. Thank you for coming along on our adventure with us and we hope you enjoy following our route as you will learn all about geography.
Join us next week as we attempt to de-stress at the spa. If you enjoyed the video, consider subscribing for weekly vlogs and follow us on our socials for updates and bonus content. Thank you for watching.